Hello everyone and welcome to this feature overview of Magnet Response, another great free tool available from Magnet Forensic. Magnet Response is intended to be a lightweight and easy to use evidence collection and preservation tool targeted towards incident response investigations. In this video, we're going to take a look at Magnet Response, its features, and talk about some different ways you may find to use it. First, you can download Magnet Response along with all of the other free tools from Magnet Forensics from our free tools page. You'll find the download for Magnet Response is a very lightweight zip archive, less than two megabytes in size. To start, I'll simply select these three items, copy them, and I'll go paste them to a USB flash drive I have connected to my computer. We'll now take this device and connect it to the target of investigation. Now that we have our USB device connected to our target computer, I can simply open File Explorer, select the USB flash drive we copied Magnet Response to, and launch the executable. We'll agree to the end user license agreement, and then we're presented with the main Magnet Response configuration screen. Once we're looking at the Magnet Response configuration window shown here, we only need to perform three actions to begin the collection. First, we need to provide a case number or reference select our collection options, which we'll get into in just a moment, and then designate an output folder where we want to save the acquired data. By default, this will go to the location Magnet Response was launched from, but you do have the option of selecting alternative locations via the Browse button. We'll look at the collection options, but the More Info button provides details for reference if needed. Now the first selection is to capture RAM. Well, by default, Magnet Response utilizes Magnet Dump It to store RAM captures in a .dmp or Microsoft Crash Dump format. If the Dump It tool fails for any reason, Magnet RAM Capture runs as a fallback measure. Associated with the RAM Capture is the option to save pagefile.sys from disk immediately after capturing RAM. The next checkbox is to collect volatile data. From the Magnet Response User Guide, we can see this list of items that will be targeted when this option is enabled. Looking through the list, you'll probably agree this information can be useful to determine what processes are running on a system and if they have any active or listening network connections, along with a variety of artifacts that are commonly used by malicious code for exploitation. Next is an option to collect critical system files with a configure dialog. Users can pick and choose individual artifacts from the list shown here, or we could use some of the quick presets that are available. The idea here is to give you the option of excluding items which are known to add time to the collection. I'll select the Save and Close button to return to the main configuration window. The next option shown is to capture running processes with extended information. Enabling this feature will cause Magnet Response to collect additional data for running processes and loaded modules in memory. There is also an associated option for this feature to save a copy of any located processes and loaded modules to a zip file for further analysis. The last group of collection options is regarding file collection. First, there is an option to collect ransomware note files. Next is an option to save files containing listed keywords, and there are two ways to utilize this feature. The default behavior of Magnet Response is to search for items with extensions for the commonly seen script files listed here. The second option will instead utilize a keyword list that you provide. If there's a text file named collectkeywords.txt, present in the location that you launched Magnet Response from, the contents of that keyword list will be loaded and searched. The last two associated options let you skip certain folders on the target system and set a file size threshold for scanning. Clicking the Start Capture button will begin the collection. Once complete, the Magnet Response output is placed into a zip file with the computer name, the currently logged in username, and a timestamp for when the collection was performed. If the option to capture RAM was enabled, you'll see either a crash dump file created using dump it or a bin file from the Magnet RAM capture. Each of these can be loaded into Magnet Axiom or Axiom Cyber using the computer, windows, load evidence, image option, and for the RAM capture using the computer, windows, load evidence, memory option for analysis in Axiom Examine. This lets you leverage all of the features of Magnet Axiom or Axiom Cyber using features like the Artifact Explorer, Timeline Explorer, or Connections to hone in on items of interest. One last feature to mention, renaming Magnet Response to include Auto Capture as part of the file name will launch with all options enabled and no additional user input needed. 
renaming to include auto capture minimal, will run with the options for volatile data and critical system files enabled. Both options can be useful when having another person perform the collection for you, regardless of their level of training. Thanks for watching, and I hope you find this tool useful.